All right, so I've been getting a lot of questions recently on like how I set up the spreadsheet to auto calculate for my drop shipping so I can keep track of my profits, like how much I'm spending, you know, the tracking numbers, what the items actually are selling, you know, where they're actually selling, what marketplace, because I'm not just doing it on Facebook Marketplace, I'm also doing it on other marketplaces. So I'm gonna show you that here in a second, but if you wanna download this spreadsheet for free, it's 100% free, the first link in the description, you should be able to click that, download the spreadsheet for free, uh, or I'll show you also, if you don't wanna just download the auto-calculating spreadsheet and you wanna set it up yourself, that way you kinda learn it, you can set it up in the future as many times as you want or modify it or whatever, I'll also teach you that, okay? So let's head over to Excel, and I've kinda pulled up an example one and filled in some example kind of suppliers here, some example marketplaces, some example sh uh, tr you know tracking numbers and stuff like that. Uh, as well as like some example suppliers, okay? And this is literally the exact template that I use with the exact like columns and the exact rows and the exact auto calculations that I use. The only difference is I took all the, the data that I have out for April and I just put test data in there to show you different examples, right? So if you want this, it's fully downloadable, like I said, first link in the description. Uh, but basically what I do is I keep track of the date, right? When the order was placed, or when I fulfill the order, I keep track of the item title for, you know, obviously all this is good data just to have in case something goes wrong with your order, but it's also good just to kind of see like overall, like as you start filling out th this type of stuff and I do it monthly, right? So right now I'm doing one for April. I did one last uh, month for March. It's, I'm a little slow this morning. I can't remember what comes before April, uh, but it's also good to kind of see like, as you go through the month, like, all right, where are you getting the majority of your orders from? What types of products are you getting the majority of orders from? That way you can obviously focus on listing more on those marketplaces as opposed to the other marketplaces that aren't really giving you the good time ROI uh, as opposed to the other ones. And also like listing more types of products and other variations of products that are selling well for you, right? Because the data is not going to lie to you. The numbers aren't going to lie. So that's why it's good to keep track of this stuff. And also if you ever run into an issue with a buyer, you can come back look up the tracking number for that specific order, find the date, right, where it was done, the supplier order number, where you ordered it from, what you paid, et cetera, et cetera. All of that, that information you might not think is valuable now because if everything goes right with your orders, then it won't matter, right? Although if something does go wrong, God forbid it does, then obviously you're gonna wanna come back and look at this stuff, okay? So like I said, the first thing that I put in is the date. So hypothetically, if somebody were to order one right now, I'm gonna go 4621 because that's the date today. Maybe they ordered, I've been talking about wallpaper. That was an example that I used in the video uh, last time. So let's just say like they ordered like the, I don't know, the sun-kissed uh, sky wallpaper. And if you're listing multiple variations, what I basically do is I literally just copy the title that I listed it as and I paste it in here, okay? Where did it sell? What marketplace? So maybe it sold on Poshmark, depending on if you're doing the dropship arbitrage on Poshmark or if you're dropshipping and sending the label. I talked about this in the last video if you wanna talk about or you wanna see like different examples of how you can dropship obviously, not just on Poshmark, but many different marketplaces. I talk about 13 of them that you know I'm not currently necessarily dropping drop shipping on, but a lot of them I am and testing out, and a lot of them I know that you can obviously. So it doesn't just have to be Facebook Marketplace, although that's primarily what the majority of you are probably using. So this could be like Facebook Marketplace, and I just abbreviate there. It could be Etsy. I put a couple of other, other examples in here, depending on where you're actually drop shipping. It could be any number of those things. And if you're just doing Facebook Marketplace, then obviously you don't really need this column and you can just right click and delete the column, okay? But I just put this in there in case you branch out, um, you know, but like, even if you don't, like you just wanna keep it, it should just like any Excel spreadsheet, obviously, once you start typing like the F in for Facebook Marketplace, it'll just auto populate that cell knowing what you're about to type, okay? Now, generally speaking, this is going to be blank. So like, I like keeping these blank. So like, for example, all these are gonna be blank until you input the tracking number, right? So that helps you keep track as you're going through your, your orders of which uh, items you've obviously marked the tracking for and given the buyer you know, the tracking information. You're also gonna be able to see that, for example, if it's on like a different uh, platform, you'll be able to see that in your orders. If it's on Facebook, you'll be able to see like which ones uh, the shipping orders haven't been marked as shipping. It's very easy to see that, but obviously it just helps you keep track of it on your, ship, on your uh, spreadsheet as well. Then your supplier order ID. So like this is good, for example, I know perfect, like perfect example, this is like on Amazon and any 
really any marketplace, it's, it's important to have for, for like the future in case something goes wrong. But your order ID on Amazon, so you can always look it up in your orders. On Walmart, it's also good. So if you're not like signed in with an actual account, you can just use the email that you ordered from, the order ID number, and then look up the tracking that way. So that's also important to have. And then obviously the supplier where you got it from, right? So like I put in an example, wholesale supplier for here, you know, um, cause there's so many different wholesale suppliers out there. Uh, so it could be like a random wholesale supplier. It could be a retail website like Amazon or Home Depot or eBay or Costco or Walmart or whatever. Then obviously the estimated payment, what you actually spent on it on the marketplace, the profit margin, and here's where the auto calculations start coming in the profit margin, uh, the, the actual margin percentage. So excuse me, the profit that you made, the profit margin, and then whether or not you shipped it out, was it a drop shipping listing? You don't have to do this if you're just doing drop shipping, like you can take this out. Um, but I keep track of this because every once in a while I'll do like a drop ship arbitrage order. So I want to make sure that I'm shipping these out and keeping track of them. If you were doing drop ship arbitrage as well and combining drop shipping, then this makes sense. If not, then again, just right click or not right click, select the column, then right click and just delete the column that way. Okay. And then obviously when I ship the drop ship arbitrage one out, if you've seen any of my other spreadsheet videos, I'll just mark this green and I'll know that, okay, the drop ship arbitrage one has also been shipped out. Okay. So let's fulfill a test order here and I'll show you how this actually works. Now, if you download this spreadsheet, right, you can obviously start replacing these here and then it, it will just auto calculate for you and you never have to change anything here, okay? If for whatever reason you don't wanna do that and you wanna set it up, I'll show you how you can set up the auto calculations because if you come down to the bottom here, it's gonna calculate automatically what you've spent over the month, right? So in this spreadsheet, it looks like you've spent 233.62 the total payouts that you've received so far um, are 162.55 and your profit margin is, that doesn't make any sense because estimated payment, total spent. So these two columns, I just mixed them up right here. So they should say total spent. I did this fast when I was fixing it. So like total uh, profit or total payout or something like that. So this is gonna be your total profit, that's gonna be your total spent, obviously, and that's gonna be your profit with your average margin also calculated. Because one of the questions I got frequently was like, okay, like I keep track of my margin, but like how do I know on average what my margin percentages are, right? So I keep track, obviously it auto calculates in every single thing, ignore the dollar sign there, that's like percentage, right? So if it says 0.43, that means 43%. If it says 1.29, that obviously means 129%. You get the picture here. And then obviously it's going to auto calculate. So my average margin on this spreadsheet specifically is 77%, right? These numbers are all going to change. These are random numbers that I just input in there to kind of show you the example. But let me show you a fulfillment. Like let's pretend like we're fulfilling an order, right? So somebody makes an order right, right today. It's going to be 4621. That's when they place the order. Maybe again, we'll use the Sunkiss Sky wallpaper as the example, just because it's like the first thing that comes to my mind. Um, and then we'll say that they did it on Facebook Marketplace because a lot of you guys are gonna be using Facebook Marketplace. You're not gonna have the tracking number for the shipment yet. That's something you're gonna put in a day or two later when you obviously get that tracking number from your supplier, okay? And that's also something that you're gonna to wanna to put in Facebook Marketplace, as you already know, or any of the other marketplaces that you're using so that your buyer knows and also the marketplace knows that it's actually been shipped and then they'll you know track it so that they can pay you, right? Now the order ID, you're obviously gonna have that from your, your supplier, right? So whoever your supplier is, you're probably gonna use Zdrop to find them, right? So if you come up to like right up here and you go into Zdrop, you're gonna search for that actual product and then you're gonna find that product on the actual, uh, you know, whatever your supplier is, you're gonna order it and that's where you're gonna get all that data to input in the spreadsheet, right? So pretty self-explanatory. So let's say that you ordered this one from Walmart. We'll put in a fake order ID number here. What was your estimated payment, right? So like, what did the actual buyer, if it's confusing, obviously you can change these titles, but that's just what I use, but you'll get the gist of it. So like, what is the buyer actually paying you after the, the Facebook fees or whatever marketplace fees it is? Uh, and a lot of marketplaces will literally tell you that, uh, as well as after like the marketplace fees and like the shipping, if you're paying for the shipping or anything like that, right? So what is the actual take home profit from that item that you're getting, right? So let's say for the Sunkiss wallpaper, it'll be like 43 uh, 20, 4321, right? Random example. Okay. And then, but it only costs you on Walmart to order it. It costs you $28 and 50 cents, right? So then it's going to auto calculate. Once you put those two numbers in, it's going to auto calculate and tell your, tell you your profit is $14 and 71 cents. 
and it's a about a 51 or 52 percent profit margin on that okay and again if you're using the ship category you can go you know and just copy the ds or make like a green ds so that you know it's you know obviously the order has been received it's a drop shipped item if you're doing drop ship arbitrage then just mark it with a da and a red until you ship it out you know via yourself uh, and then mark it green but most of you probably won't be doing this so I'll, let's just delete it uh, so it doesn't confuse you okay but the template that you can download as the first link in the description for free will have that so it'll have the marketplace column in case you're doing multiple marketplaces but i'll delete this just you know just in case so it doesn't confuse you guys right now and it will also have the uh the ds column or the da for, so like if you're doing dropship arbitrage and also doing drop shipping, you can also use that if you want. But again, if you're not, just delete those columns. It's totally fine, right? So this is all the important data that I think that you should have that I literally use myself, right? And then in a day or two, I'll come back, I'll input the tracking information here, uh, whether you're using like, for example, if it's a drop ship arbitrage item, then you're going to be like shipping it out with the label for OfferUp or Poshmark or Mercari or any of those items, or even Facebook Marketplace. If you're doing drop ship arbitrage on Facebook Marketplace, although the majority of you probably won't, you'll probably just be drop shipping and facilitating the sale from the actual supplier to your customer. So that's where you're going to put in your tracking number, right? So for example, if they gave you a FedEx tracking number, then I would be like FedEx and I would say like, uh, and then I literally copy and paste the tracking number in here just so I had it, right? So who's actually shipping it, uh, what the carrier is, and what the actual number is. Now, if it's a TBA tracking number and you're using Amazon, then that's why I put the example OA Genius one in here because OA Genius for this example is a website where you can actually go and order tracking numbers for, I think they're 25 cents a piece or something like that. It's very, very cheap. It might even be cheaper than that. You can pay like 25 bucks for a hundred of them. And then you can order a tracking number specifically. They'll scan uh, FedEx's entire like system and find a tracking number that's live right now and active going to that actual um, town or whatever, or whatever it's going right in that state, right? So that's very, very valuable for drop shipping uh, in a nutshell, like we're doing, right? And then it's just going to auto calculate. Okay. So if you want this, like I said, it's free to download, but if you just want to set it up yourself, all I'm really doing here is I'm inputting these right here. So let's say hypothetically, we delete all this information. So it doesn't auto calculate and then all this should go away. And let me just see if I fill this in, if it does it really fast, let's say $20 and okay. So it's not auto calculating anymore. So all I'm doing, right? if you want to set this up yourself is I'm setting up just formulas in Excel. It's very, very simple stuff. So first thing I'm going to do is the profit margin. I'm going to go this column, right? The total estimated payment minus this column. Okay. So F, what is that? F nine minus G nine. So equals F nine minus G nine and then enter and it will auto calculate for you. Okay. And then with the margin, all I'm doing is I'm dividing the profit by what I'm spending, right? So your, your margin percentage, what your actual profit margin is, minus or divided by what you're spending. So again, same formula is going to be equals and it's going to be this time it's going to be H9. So H9 divided by uh, G9 and then we're going to hit enter. And it's going to tell you that that's 116% profit margin. And then again, these will auto calculate down here. But if these are not auto calculating, all I'm doing on this column down here uh, is for the profit. So I'm auto summing the profit. So I'm just dragging all these columns down to this this uh, one right here that's highlighted and I'm going auto sum and then it's just going to auto sum all the profits. So if you add another profit in here, like of like $23 or whatever, then it's just going to auto sum all the profits. Very, very easy. Same thing with margin. I'm going to do, I'm going to drag all these down to here. And instead of auto summing, I'm going to click the down arrow and I'm going to go average. And then it's just going to average all the, the data points in there. So for example, maybe you have like a 20% profit margin here, or I guess 30%. And then like it's 25%, it's just going to take the average of all those and then tell you what your average profit margin is. Okay. And again, with the total profit and total spent, that's just auto sum. So all I'm literally doing is I'm taking this, dragging it down and again, auto summing it. And it's just going to add up all those totals in those columns. So you're getting all the data, you know, what you're spending every single month. So you know how much, you know, what your cash flow situation is like, because you're also going to see what your total profit is, as well as, you know, how much you actually need to have via credit or cash in the bank to actually spend to make those profits, okay? So it's very, very easy, nothing complicated here. I think all this data is important. I really hope it helps. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'd love to answer them for you. Remember, you can get the spreadsheet 100% free in the description. First link in the description. Hope it helps, and I'll see you in the next one.